What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Down to Be Outdoors. Um, today we're going to fish the locks. Uh, we've had a lot of wind lately, and it's made it pretty hard to, uh, you know, fish at the inlets and, you know, in the river. So uh, we're going to go fish the locks. It's a good time to fish the locks this time of year. Um, it holds a lot of big fish. This is the time of year. We're getting towards the end of May now where the big snook will push into the locks. All the snook, big, small, they all push up into these locks. They go to the inlets. They go, uh, you know, back in the back country. It's just a good time to be snook fishing. So uh, it's not seasoned, but they're still fun to catch. So today we're gonna go fish. We're gonna get some live shrimp. I'm gonna see if the guy will let me hand pick a couple dozen, you know, big select live shrimp. And uh, we're gonna go fish the locks. Uh, this is how you target all snook at the locks. Um, you know, there's some really big, big snook at the locks this time of the year. But uh, sometimes they can be finicky. You can fish them with a uh, bucktail live bait but uh you know what we're going to do today is just for fun to bend the rod I'm not going to be targeting those huge females but uh in a future video i might get some really big live mullet and go show you what moves in this time of year it's just uh they can be real finicky and sometimes you don't get the bite so today i want to bend the rod Maybe the next video or the video after that, we'll go down here and uh, target a mammoth. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna kind of explain what I like to do and you know the setup I'm using and how you get bites. So, I'll cut you guys back on when we get down here and start fishing. So, stay tuned. Yep. Little guy. Yep. Like I said, when you get that shrimp in there just right, that's the result. Fish. 
probably 23, 22. Another beautiful snook. No complaining there. If you know how to fish the spillway and the locks, you're gonna catch plenty of fish. But these aren't the monsters. Like I said, we just wanted to bend the rod today. I'm gonna let him go. Away he goes. No fray that time. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. So, as you can see, what you want to do is put your bait up in there and get that water to push it down to those fish that's the key if you don't do that you keep it out here on the flow at this spillway or locks whatever you want to call it particularly uh, you're not going to get bites Go. Number three. Another beautiful snook. No. right in the tongue. Another pretty little smoke. Send them back. Away he goes. fish of the day.
Uh, I thought he was better. I think they're around the same size. Another nice, nice fish, about 24, 25 inches. <laughs> I try to tell you, man. <laughs> Quick on the day. Smallest one so far. I don't know, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Another little guy. Way he goes. gonna wrap it up for another episode if you guys like that video hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe it really helps the channel um, before I end it I'm gonna go over a quick year review uh, I was using uh, my 4000 series setup with a 20 pound braid and a 30 pound leader to a little 2 -o owner owner hook J hook so that was a fun day, uh, they bit pretty good. Um, no monster fish, I've seen a few monster fish, so have to go in there with a little different setup and uh, show you how I target those fish. So stay tuned for that video, it should be coming hopefully shortly. Hopefully I can get a, a good bite from one of those bigger fish here in the next week or so. They're all giants, so I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.